Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Uh, so I have a late to the game review of the Bath and Body Works Banana Walnut Muffin Candle. This actually came out quite some time ago. I feel like this came out when Fall Stuff first started being pushed by Bath and Body Works. Um, I did I did buy it soon after its release. However, I am just now kind of getting around to um, burning some of the <laughs> newer fall candles that I picked up during those hauls. So um, here we are. <laughs> um, I'm actually really enjoying this candle. That being said, um, I don't think it really smells like what it's supposed to smell like, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So this candle is still for sale um, at Bath & Body Works. It doesn't look like they're doing a candle sale this weekend. Um, I'm online right now and I'm not seeing it. So uh, my guess is that maybe they'll do it again next weekend. So if you're interested, um, I feel like they'll keep this around until basically it sells out. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it. Um, the reviews for it are actually quite good. So it's nice to hear. Um, okay, so let's talk about the fragrance notes and the difference in what I actually smell. So the notes here are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. Um, you know, it certainly, it certainly sounds like uh, just banana nut bread when you read that description, right? Like you think that sweet, like slightly overripe banana smell. Um, you think that like roasted walnut type fragrance. Um, and then of course that like bready gourmand type note wrapped in it. So it's a sweet smell, but it's not overly sweet. I don't actually like banana bread that has like a very, very sweet flavor to it. Um, so sometimes when I make banana bread, I actually cut some of the sugar that I put into the batter because um, I think you actually taste the banana a little bit more and there's a lot of just natural sweetness from a slightly overripe banana to begin with. So sorry about the beeping guys, if you can hear that. Um, I had to turn off my dishwasher <laughs> to make sure you guys can hear me for this review. So. Let me tell you guys what I actually smell uh, from this candle because it's certainly not banana walnut muffins or banana walnut bread. Um, I don't really get much banana from this period. This kind of just smells like a generic gourmand, sweet um, fall type scent. Um, I... It's a real stretch for me to pick up the banana. <laughs> I feel like on cold sniff when I was like rubbing the top of the candle and when I was, um, you know, really sticking my nose in there, I could definitely get like the slightest hint of a banana. But really when it's burning, you guys, this, this doesn't smell like I'm baking banana bread, which is what my hope was for this particular scent. Um, that being said, it pairs really nicely with my Scentsy, uh, bring back my bar banana nut bread. I mean, it's, you know, that the, the Scentsy version definitely has banana in it. Um, this does not, but they're a nice pairing together. So if you're looking to get some more banana out of this, if you happen to have picked up during the last bring back my bar, the banana nut bread, um, you could certainly pair it with this and it would give you the banana maybe that you're looking for. Um, but that being said, you guys, I still really love this scent. <laughs> Even though it's not what I expected, I'm still really enjoying it and I'm glad that I picked up a couple. I don't know that I'll grab a ton more because to be perfectly honest, um, I, I still have a lot of my old Bath & Body Works candles that I'm trying to work my way through in the candle crocs and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I just I just don't think I need to add to the collection for this. Also, I think this will be back next year anyway. Um, it seems like this was really popular with people. And Bath & Body Works has put out um, a couple of other like banana related scents in the past. So 
I think I think she'll be back, so I'm not too worried about having to stock up. Um, don't really love the label on this. Just if we're talking aesthetics, this is definitely one that I would want to put in a candle sleeve. Um, I have really come to appreciate the um, the core collection packaging, and I'm just going to pop it in a frame so you guys know what I'm talking about. Here is pumpkin pecan waffles. So really, my aesthetic is more this than cartoony label i guess i don't i don't know what you would call this um but for me this just classic aesthetic with the opaque glass of whatever color and the simple um textured linen style uh label like this this is this is my jam so that being said you could just put it in a candle sleeve <laughs> not a big deal um here let's talk about the strength and the throw so I think this is a fairly solid performer. The strength I would put at about, at least here in my kitchen area, I would put it probably at about a six. Um, I've certainly had stronger Bath & Body Works candles, but it's, it's great for just a kitchen scent, to be totally honest. It does travel into my family room and obviously the kitchen nook. Um, but it doesn't really go much beyond this, like, core open concept area over here um so i would put the throw only at about mm, probably a four or a five like it's definitely large room filling but it's just not traveling outside of these rooms here it's not reaching the entryway which is um i mean it's definitely connected here but that being said, the airflow in this particular part of the house is not as great as some other areas. So I think maybe if I put this in the entryway because of that little like airflow vortex that I have right there, this would throw a little bit better, but I like it as a just kitchen scent. So that's what this is for me. In terms of the like performance of the candle itself, it's been doing really good. The wicks here do not form mushroom tops, but they do get long. Um, so I definitely cut the wicks in half before beginning a burn. Um, I'm just about at the halfway point with this burn here. As you guys can see, this gets a really nice solid wax pool. It um, burns very evenly. I have not noticed any sooting or smoking at all. Um, it's been a great performer. I think the the other backups that I have, I will enjoy over the next month or so. Um, I don't see myself like saving this for next year because like I said, I really have a strong feeling that this will come back. Um, people definitely think highly of it. Uh, the lid here is super cute. I don't collect the Bath & Body Works lids anymore, but um, this one does have some really nice pumpkins on it. It's in that classic silver finish of theirs. And yeah, so overall, um, I enjoy this. I would say if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10 in terms of like my enjoyment of it, it's probably at an eight. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> But you guys know me, you know my love of gourmand, you know my love of just sweet bakery anything, and this does it for me. Um, if you're worried about this being cloyingly sweet, it's not. Um, it's obviously supposed to be a sweet bread type candle, but it's not going to like, I don't know, it's, it's not going to induce a headache or, you know, that like blah type feeling when you have like an overly sweet scent. For me... Um, caramel notes and maple notes often give me that reaction. Neither of those are obviously in here, but you know, for me, anytime that I see maple or butterscotch or, um, caramel, I get that like, Ooh, is this going to be too sweet for me? Concern. Um, this is not, it's, it's really well done. It's enjoyable. It's just not banana walnut muffin. There you go. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I'll go ahead and link this down below if you want to go read up some other people's reviews, which I always suggest doing. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch today. Let me know what your thoughts were on Banana Walnut Muffin. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.